More items in the mail today and a mini flap. Hi, afternoon YouTube. Here with you on a Saturday afternoon. Hey, uh, been uh, doing not much of anything today. Nothing really different than it usually is. <laughs> um, I did get a couple items in the mail, actually three items. This uh, first one comes from Electronic Antique Electronic Supply out in Arizona. This is the uh, uh, little variable capacitor for the uh, AM transmitter that I'm building. That was made by uh, uh, Restore Old Radios, Don. And uh, it's a nice one. So that one should work fine. Uh, next up is a set of uh, 10 audio jacks. Now these are the jacks, I think, that have the little springs in them, but this doesn't have the, the clear plastic top that you can see in there. So, you know, I'm just guessing. Uh, they connect to, a, you know, for soldering on a PC board or whatever. But uh, they work the same way anyway. So uh, They were 10 for something like that, and the ones I did get with the clear tops out of California were 5 for about the same price. So there you go. Uh, also, I had ordered these once I had uh, tore the uh, heat kit IG-18 apart and uh, that's, those are the electrolytic capacitors two sizes, the 330's and 270's I think is what they are but I have both of those now so that project can go forward a little bit still need to uh, clean the board off I haven't done anything to that as you can see so anyway that's uh, what I'm doing there uh, really not much else going on today. It's just been kind of a rainy day and I uh, watched a little uh, uh, Gold Rush. I like to watch that on Saturdays. I talk to my mother. I talk to her every Saturday. Had uh, some more uh, biscuits and gravy. Uh, still had some left from the other night when Kylie fixed them. And uh, we uh, got big plans for the uh, uh, after, well, Monday, I think. I go to my daughter's house. Uh, she's going... Uh, we're, well, she isn't, but uh, they're going to have a little get-together before she goes in for her operation. And they will leave for that on Tuesday. I think the operation itself is on Wednesday or Thursday. I'm not really sure. But uh, I, it's the 5th, whenever the 5th is. So um, that's that. And uh, like I said, uh, looking, uh, Kyle, Kylie will be here uh, during that period. I think it's a two-week period uh, for rehabilitation and stuff like that before uh, well, she'll be able to go back home. So I will be getting up to take her to uh, school every day. Now she is off work during that time so I don't have to take her there. Um, so uh, that'll be fun. Uh, she's coming home with me after the uh, get together on Monday and uh, so my, my job will start Tuesday. <laughs> uh, I was hoping to get my uh, my tires looked at today but so far my grandson has not contacted me and I did text him and ask him if he was still going to do that today he's supposed to basically basically just check up the back of it so we can spin the tires back there and see if if one of those is the one that has the broken belt and if that turns out to not be true then basically I'll, I'll do the same with the front and I'm going to try to find out where this one is. I don't, it just doesn't feel like it's in the front though because generally like I say it's in the front that, that wheel will wobble like that and you can feel that in the steering wheel. But uh, haven't felt anything like that so. But I did notice one day I was going down the street and I guess it, it caught just the right way or something and you could feel the car just <laughs> doing that so uh, either that or the tires were out around. Maybe, maybe that was it. I don't know. I might not even have a broken belt. I don't know. But I hit a, a pothole really really bad one day it was in the back, I think. So a good possibility that's what it is. But uh, anyway, that's pretty much all I'm doing today. So uh, this should be a short one. You know how that goes. Uh, I'm trying to think of anything else I can think of. Um, I had been watching a, another uh, Halicrafters. Oh, that's the other thing. The Halicrafters, <laughs> eh, it's um, in Illinois, is all I can tell you. The uh, delivery date now is pending, uh, so they don't have a firm delivery date for it. Now that's just one state over, so 
there is really no reason they can't get it over here. I mean, it came from California in a couple days. Surely they could get over one state in one day. <laughs> I don't know. Anywho, that's what's going on with it. I, I would recommend anybody um, that's going to be shipping anything, if they want to get a tear in a prompt manner, do not use FedEx. Now, um, some people say it's the FedEx home or the FedEx ground or whatever. Whatever it is, don't use it. Uh, the 21st is when this was ordered. And uh, if it doesn't come till Monday, that would be, let's see, the 3rd. Um, so that's just too long, way too long. Uh, like I say, get here by Carrier Pigeon or Pony Express by now. So, Anywho, that's that. Uh, I'm not going to worry about it too much because it is what it is and not what I can do about it. Uh, so, uh, but I was watching another uh, Halicrafters S38C. S, uh, it was in pretty good shape and at the time I started watching it was at $15.50. So that's why I started watching it. Bob pointed it out to me. And uh, so that ended up selling, I forget what yesterday or today this morning I can't remember when it was exactly but it was uh, forty two dollars it went for so uh, I think the shipping was a little bit higher than what I paid uh, twenty something dollars I think maybe thirty I'm not really even sure but anyway it, uh, it was gonna get up there good pretty good of course you know by the time I spend all I'm spending on mine uh, it's probably gonna be that much so uh, that like I said that kit to uh, recap it was 27 and then there's uh, the graphics uh, for the the uh, case and the paint for the case and sand, uh, sanding I, I'll be doing that anyway I mean it's just my time it's not a big deal I'm using the uh, sandpaper from uh, Harbor Freight which is pretty cheap so um, but that is that um, anyway so that's there there I'm also watching another item and kind of up in the air about whether I get it or not. I think if it if I get it, it's fine. If I don't get it, it's fine too. So <laughs> uh, it's uh, an item that I'm the the only bidder on, and uh, the bidding is at twenty dollars. So, and that's all I bid. So if it goes above that, I'm out. But uh, that's the way I wanted it. So uh, anywho, like I said, that's that. I did buy another item from China. Um, I'll put a picture of that up here so you can see that. It's a basically a frequency counter kit. And uh, Bob was telling me that he had, I think, three of them and two of them didn't work. So uh, so that makes you feel good. So anywho, that's that. That's not a big deal. Um, I think it looked like it was a pretty good, uh, pretty good deal. I, I saw it actually from Gearbest and they had a, they, they run pro promotional things on Facebook sometimes, and it, it came up on there, and I was checking it out, and I found it uh, a little bit cheaper on eBay, so free shipping, and I just thought, well, I'll go ahead and get it from them. Pretty good seller free back, so, you know, I figured that was pretty good. Uh, that's that. I think it catches me up with everything and every everybody. <laughs> so I think I'm going to get off here, and uh, Bill was uh, did a video with his uh, Sony uh, mobile HD now this one says mobile HD snap I think mobile HD snap camera that's what it says and yes Bill I am reading that tiny tiny uh, writing with my eyes no glasses no nothing uh, Sometimes I can do that, and sometimes I can't. But uh, this is a... Uh, I can't read the uh, model number good enough, though. MHS something. I can't read the rest of it. But I did read Mobile HD Snap Camera. MHS TS 10 or 20. I can't... 20, I think. TS 20, I think. So that's what this is, and I think I've mentioned that before. But, uh, uh, this is the 8 gig uh, model, I believe the one you got there, that uh, uh, it's just plain snap camera. It's 4 gigabyte, I believe. So 
Yeah, it doesn't uh, focus as good as that one, but I believe the focus is better once it does focus. Uh, that's my opinion, you know, just looking at your video. Uh, you know, that's either here or there. Uh, like I said, I, I would like to have a camera. In fact, I'm going to have a camera. Uh, I'm going to put up a link to that. Uh, well, a picture of it, something. The one I want to get, and it's going to, it may be after Christmas when, sometime when I buy it. Uh, so, but uh, it's one of those, um, they, they advertise it as working on cell phones. Uh, it's a microscope camera, and it basically sits down. I may have even said something about it, too, I can't remember. But that's the one I want to get because that will have some extreme close ups, and uh, I think that's just exactly what I need. Not only for working on close up things, uh, you can use it for surface uh, mount uh, components, uh, a lot of different things that you can use, use it for, and I think it would be a handy bench item to have. Uh, one more thing. <laughs> I always come up with one more thing. Do y'all know that? This is going to be changed. I don't like this. Uh, this is going to have a permanent mounting place on the pegboard. I haven't figured out exactly where to put it, but I don't like it like it is. All right, my little stand works fine, but by the time you put that uh, uh, back on it and, you know, like that, and then you put it in here, it uh, is not, if you, if you move this, if you move this around, you see what happens. It's, it's just not, I don't know if you can see that or not, but every time you move this cord around, it just does that. And I don't like that uh, stiff cord thing there. I'm going to put a, a dedicated plug on there and put it up on the pegboard and mount it permanently to where it can be used more often. I mean, I, I used it the other day just to show you that I could use it or whatever, but I don't think I would like using that a lot like that. But I'm going to have the plug run down to where it will plug into either a standard outlet or the uh, bypass of the uh, dim bulb, I should say. I need to put that back on dim. Or the, uh, it'll plug into one of three places. It'll be, plug into the standard outlet, dim bulb, or the barrier. So that's the versatility I was looking for. This would allow that, but this this stand will allow that. But I don't like, again, I, you know, I even thought about taking this cord off. It uh, These do come apart. And putting a flexible cord on there with a three-pronged plug on it and trying that and that might work a little bit better but I still don't like the way that does it's just I, I mean I like the way the holder worked but I don't know it's just something about the way it turned out I didn't like so <laughs> I got my I got a row of <laughs> it looks like it's got a comb on it you know, like a rooster with a comb so that's just a handy place to put those I guess so <laughs> All right, I know I've killed enough time. Uh, Marty said I, I or uploaded a short one the other day, so I had made it up for it. I had made uploaded a long one. <laughs> and I'm sorry, Marty, for calling you Wally, but uh, you know I forget. I'm the, the stuff up here, the gray matter is, you know how it is. It doesn't work as good as it used to. And in fact, I've never been a good name guy anyway. But uh, I was uh, talking to uh, Wally earlier. And probably that's what I was thinking. Uh, he was talking to me about his uh, snowmobile, and uh, so. But anyway, like I said, probably not the last time I'll call you the wrong name. You know how that is. All right, I've, I've blabbed on long enough. It's uh, 3:43 now in the afternoon. I don't know if I mentioned what time it was when I sit down or not. But anyway, you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you.